Alright, so you start by putting on the eyeliner at the base of the eyelashes. Start thinner and drag the line out right past the edge of the eye, a little thicker, and going up. Same thing in the crease of the eye. until they meet. And you can go over it later to be thicker after the glitter is on. The eye is actually going to meet where the eyebrow is, is where your line is going to meet for the bottom and about two-thirds of the way with the eye. Let's come right there and right about there. and all this will be covered with glitter, so if you need to make this first line, it's not a problem. You can always go over it after the glitter's on. So next you take the glue for the part that we're going to do red. Cover the whole lid with glue. And if it covers the eyeliner, we can always go back over it with the eyeliner. Take the glitter and tap some into the lid. With your makeup brush, dip it into the glitter. Tap it off a little bit and put it on top. We want it to be the thickest right by the edge of the eye in this corner and going up the top. Make sure your daughter keeps her eyes closed to help prevent the glitter from going inside the eye. And we can wipe off the excess. all the way up to the corner. If there's any excess, you can wipe it off with a brush. Let it sit for a little bit, have her keep her eyes closed, and you're going to repeat the same steps with the top. I like to put a little bit of white at the top of the eyebrow and a little bit in the inner eye to make the eyes pop, especially with so much glitter in there. And again with the top. All the way up to that corner. All the way underneath the eyebrow, and almost into the corner of the eye. So make sure you use the other side, or a totally different one. Tap a little bit into the lid, and repeat the same steps. I'll start your makeup is very much like stage makeup, the brighter, the better. Don't be afraid to use too much glitter. You need to put more into the lid. So now her eye is covered with the glitter. And if we need to go back on over the eyeliner, we can. Looks pretty good. I'd probably put a little bit more right there, so it's a definite line.
and probably a little bit more along the lash line as well. This makeup you definitely want to keep reserved for cheer and not use it with any other everyday makeup or Halloween. Keep it with the glitter. So that's what the eyes gonna look like. I'm gonna curl the eyelashes and put some mascara on. Go on complete. Look straight ahead. I'm not gonna curl them too hard, but on your own child, curl away. Make sure that the lashes are coated from the base on the bottom. Look up, please. And look down. If it's a little clumped together on the edges, it's okay. It actually looks better on stage when they're a little clumped together at the tips. Not too much, but a little bit's always nice. Makes the lashes actually stand out more when they're performing. Especially get the side lashes. If you'd like to do a little bit on the bottom, you can. But if you're a daughter like me, after wearing mascara on the bottom, it starts looking smudgy and like a black eye, then no need to do that. If you want to do a little bit of eyeliner on the bottom, you can. Just don't go past about right here. Just on the sides, but not mandatory. We'll put some blush on as well. With the blush, suck in your cheeks. We want to go from the hairline to about the apple of the cheeks. It should look pretty dark. When they're competing, you do want to be able to see it. You can smush it in a little bit. Careful not to go in the apple of the cheeks. Just keep it right in there. So it creates that line and highlights the cheekbone. And then the last thing we do is we top it off with lips. If you want to put a little bit of a lip liner before you do the lips, that's fine. We do go with a bright red, like this. Again, we want to be able to see it on stage. With lights, parents fit, sitting in the very back row, we want to be able to see it. And definitely pack some with your daughter, especially the lips in case they're eating and drinking and it comes off. Go and rub those together. So we can always reapply right before we go on. Uh, if you do have lip liner, it's a good idea to fill in the lips with lip liner before you put on the lipstick. It helps it stay longer. And that is the Magnitude Cheer competition face.